Good morning, everyone. This is Tim Wilmot speaking from Wizard Systems. Thanks for joining me this morning for this presentation to show you the capabilities of Workbook CRM, what areas of your business it can address, and how my company, Wizard Systems, can help you with your CRM project there. Now, we run these short presentations every Friday, focusing on different aspects of workbooks and CRM. And today, I'm going to take you through more closely the, the Outlook integration with workbooks. How do we share information between these two, two important systems? Now, this presentation will be about half an hour or so in duration. It's just a basic session, just a basic overview. Everyone, every company uses CRM in different ways. Everyone's got different requirements. And I wouldn't have enough time this morning to go over all of the capabilities of, of workbooks that it offers. So after this session, if you want to explore workbooks in more detail, we'd love to organize more of a one-to-one -one session with you and your colleagues. And then we can obviously discuss your specific requirements and show you how workbooks can be used in your company or in your organization. Now on the call today, we've got about, uh, we've got 16 people on the call. I can see some people are already trialing. I recognize some of the names as existing trialers of the workbook system. There's a, a free 30-day trial of workbooks. And of course, there will be some of you that have never seen it before. So excuse me if I'm going over some information you may already know. Now, the audio part of this presentation is one way only. As you've uh, been informed, your microphone is on mute. Don't worry about any background noises, your end. If you've got any questions, you should see that there's a, a question section on your meeting control panel. Um, please type those in as you think of them, and I'll read those out at the end of the session and do my best to answer them. Now, also, this session, this call has been recorded. After the presentation this morning, you should get an email within a few hours with a link to the recording, which you can obviously look back on again. And we'll most likely pop the recording up on our YouTube channel as well. Okay, so let's get started then. Just a brief mention about my company, first of all, Wizard Systems. All we do is CRM. We've done this a long, long time. We've implemented well over 3,000 systems all over the UK and further afield as well. Now, of course, with workbooks, it's a cloud system, so there's nothing to install. You don't need to worry about backups or upgrades. It's so easy to get up and running. And we have clients that do their own thing with workbooks. They set their own systems up. They teach themselves how to use it. There's lots of resources on hand to assist you. But we're here to help you. If you need any assistance with advice on how you set the system up, customizing it to your requirements, migrating data from another system into workbooks, uh, integrating workbooks with other applications, training you and your colleagues on how to use it, incidentally, we can train you at your offices. We can come to you or you can come to our premises. We're based just north of Bristol. Or we can do it online. A lot of our training is done online where we don't, obviously don't need to travel. Very interactive. And we provide, lastly, we provide ongoing support as well. So you're not alone. We're in this together. We want to make sure you get the most out of workbooks. And if you get stuck or you need to call on someone for advice, we've got a, a friendly responsive help desk uh, service here to assist you. So when discussing C the C your, your CRM requirements, the, the thing we want to get, get at is what are the issues you're looking to solve with a new workbook system? What objectives do you want to achieve? Are you looking to streamline your sales processes, do better marketing, improve how you do quotes? Um, improve customer service, maybe a combination of all of those. So that's really what we want to try and get at so that when you start using, when you've been using workbooks for a number of months, we can actually start to measure how effective this implementation was. We can maybe even start to see or measure some ROI as regards sales improvements, number of quotes converted, um, loyalty, retention of customers, and so on. So what is Workbooks? Well, it's a single, easy-to-use, affordable, central system for managing all the information about your prospects, your customers, your suppliers, your interactions with those people. So a great tool for sharing information, improving better teamwork. 
Also, it's got some marketing tools in there to help you be more targeted and regular with your communications to your clients. Now, unusually for a CRM system, it can also create sales quotes, and there's an option for creating orders and invoices. There's actually two editions of workbooks when you when you sign up for it proper. On the paid versions, you have a choice of CRM edition or business edition, and you can mix and match these two editions together. Basically, CRM edition does all the CRM stuff that you would expect, plus the ability to do sales quotes. And then business edition will do everything that CRM does, plus the ability to create sales orders, invoices, credit notes, purchase orders to suppliers, all the financial stuff, if you like. Now, you can mix and match these two together. So you could be, if, for example, you were five users, there, there could be three of you on CRM and two on business. You can, you can mix and match these as you wish. Every edition has the ability to track customer service. Do you have any customer support teams, engineers, technicians, or help desk there? They, too, could be using workbooks to to share information with the salespeople and vice versa. Now, workbooks, as well as it being a great productivity tool, it's also a great management tool as well. So it can help you make decisions and help you control your department, your business more efficiently. It's a UK system, 100% cloud, nothing to install. You're up and running really, really fast. All the data is in the UK. There's a level of security here. This is very secure. There's a level of security here that most small and medium-sized businesses could not afford on their own. Very, very secure. Very reliable as well. Last year, we had an uptime of 99.99%. And it's a very popular system. You might have seen already many awards out there on the web and very good reviews. We score very highly in all in independent reviews of workbooks. We score very highly on ease of use and user satisfaction, which is what it's all about, to make sure that you're happy using this system every day for managing your contacts. So just homing in on a little bit of this in more detail, just before we dive into the demo proper. So at the heart of workbooks is this ready-made database to allow you to track your leads, your prospects, your customers. Workbooks is very customizable. Shortly when I show you the system, all these screens can be changed. You can change the labels, tabs. We support multiple languages, multiple foreign languages as well. It's very, very customizable. Also, you can have different security levels. So if there's certain colleagues that shouldn't see some information or shouldn't be able to do something in in workbooks, you can do that as well. You, you've got uh, a concept of user roles in the system. Now, of course, you're using it to manage and schedule and track all the things you've got to do every day. So it's recording the, the calls you've got to do and meetings and tasks, thereby building up a wonderful client history of everything you've done, which could be tremendously useful from a service point of view. We can integrate with any email system. And today, I'm going to take you through more closely the Outlook integration. Now, the Outlook integration, which is called the Workbooks Outlook Connector, or WOC for short, this allows you essentially to share your emails and also your calendar, your tasks, and your contacts in a bi-directional way with Outlook. So if you're using Outlook and you're going to continue using Outlook, and you're using workbooks, this is this is the number one add-on option for workbooks, a great way of sharing all that information. So you only put it in once into one of the two systems, and it will pop up in the other system. Now, we also, uh, workbooks will work with any browser. We also include a mobile app as well. So whatever device you're using, uh, whatever browser you're using, if you're using an Apple Mac, it doesn't matter, a tablet, whatever device, workbooks um, will work on those systems to allow you to to share information and, and access information wherever you are. Are you doing any marketing? We do focus on this in one of our weekly presentations, and you'll see loads of recordings up on our YouTube channel of how we go about using workbooks as a powerful 
marketing tool, an email marketing tool, event tracking. So if you're doing any marketing activity at all, especially email marketing, this is the tool for you. So before you do any marketing, you may acquire data. You can easily import data into workbooks, say from a spreadsheet or a CSV type file. You can export any data as well. If the information is in workbooks, you can get it out of workbooks. Another way of data coming into workbooks is from a form on your website. So if you've got a, a contact us page on your website with a simple form there, that can be linked to workbooks. So as people fill in their details, they are becoming records automatically in workbooks. And there's a little bit of workflow in workbooks. So as these things come in, uh, workbooks can be made to automatically generate activities or uh, pop pop an email for you in your inbox just to say that you've got a new a new inquiry. So everything is logged, everything is responded to. But before we do any email marketing or any other marketing activity, we've got an easy way in workbooks to create lists, to create a group of people or companies or records that have something in common before we market to them. And included in your subscription to workbooks is integration with three very popular email marketing platforms, MailChimp, Constant Contact, and DotMailer. MailChimp is probably the most popular one out there that we find with our clients. And with this integration, the people that you, the, the list that you create in workbooks, those people, their email addresses are uploaded to MailChimp automatically. No need to do any importing or exporting. It's very, very simple. MailChimp will allow you to create a nice looking email. It will deliver the email. And then importantly, back into workbooks you can see against a client's record you can see what emails they were sent what did they open what did they click on uh, did the email bounce back to you for any reason um, or did they unsubscribe did they opt out from your future mailings all of that's automatic in workbooks a great integration there so the sales process, managing the sales process is quite critical for most people using a CRM system. And part of that is the ability to create sales quotes. So we can create nice professional looking quotations in the system. You can store your price list in workbooks as well. You can import your price list. You can define any number of different quote or proposal layouts. They're all defined in a, a PDF type format. And when you create these quotes, with a click of the button, you can actually email the quote to the client. Everything is tracked in workbooks. And the other thing is that we are, the, the, this generation of quotes can also then update another very important part of a CRM system, the opportunity. What is it? What, what sales are you expecting to get from this customer? What's the revenue coming in? So as you're doing these quotes, that can be updating your opportunity information. Again, you're, you're doing things once, and it, it updates everything else that's linked to it. So that, that, that opportunity management, the opportunity part of workbooks is a great way of tracking what you're going to sell, who are you selling it to, when is the sale going to come in, what's the probability, what products specifically you're selling, activities around those opportunities. You can get really detailed if you want to about what information you track against those opportunities. And then remember, if you're using Business Edition, thinking about the sales process, the business process there um, from lead through to, to invoice, you can use Business Edition to track the whole thing from the lead generation through to creating quotes, orders, invoices, and recording customer payments. As I'm showing the Outlook integration, there's my little Outlook uh, uh, pop-up window there. I'll come on to that in a minute. So, um, customer service, just a brief mention about customer service. You get this anyway with workbooks. You can disable it if it's not relevant to you, but a great way of logging service issues, on a separate screen. Again, it's all very customizable. You can also apply deadlines. So if you've got service level agreements in your in your in the way that you manage your support, you have to get back to clients within two hours. You have to you have to solve an issue within eight working hours. All of that can be in workbooks, keeping you on your toes and making sure that nothing's forgotten. And like any activity, your your 
you're cr then creating a, a history of all of these issues and potentially building up, building up a wonderful knowledge base of of these problems and and typical resolutions to those to actually in the end make your support and service even better back to the client right last slide before we dive into the demo proper so putting your manager's hat on here we've got a great way using workbooks of tracking activity levels how many leads are coming in how many calls we're we doing how many appointments we're we doing opportunities that I've mentioned already uh, a key part to any proper CRM solution the, the tracking of of your opportunities, jobs, um, revenue coming in there. Now we have a report writer with workbooks and there's about 50 or so reports ready made to get you started that, that you can report on any sort of uh, activity or information in workbooks. If the information is in workbooks, you can report on it. So there's, there's 50 in there to get you started and you can create your own as well. Plus, complementary to that, We've got some flashy dashboards, bar graphs, pie charts that are summarizing key metrics in your business. So leads coming in, activity levels, mark, the effectiveness of marketing campaigns, ROI, and so on. Okay, so that's a brief run through the overview of workbooks. Now I'm just going to take you through the basics of workbooks, what the interface looks like. There is uh, a, a free 30-day trial where you can play with the system to your heart's content and and explore all of the other uh, features in more detail and I'm going to cover the Outlook integration in a bit more detail as well the workbooks Outlook connector now this morning I'm showing you workbooks in Chrome it will work with any browser and Apple and you can access it from your smartphone or your tablet device as well but I've logged in here and straight away you should recognize this. It looks like your Windows desktop. So immediately Workbooks has got that familiar look and feel. Everyone that we show Workbooks to, everyone says, oh, it looks so easy to use and very intuitive, quick to find information. You've never got that lost feeling with Workbooks. And indeed, you've got that little Google-like search box down there in the bottom left corner. Or on my desktop, you've got these shortcuts. There's a search box there as well. But from the start button and the start menu, here we are. We've got all of the important elements of a proper CRM solution with starting right at the top there, the people and organizations you're working with, you're selling to, you're servicing. Uh, right at the very top, of course, you, you may want to create new records in the system. So there you are. That's one way of creating new information in the system and starting to track it. But from um, these these items here, you, you normally go into what's called a landing page. So if I select people here, I'm displayed with the people landing page. So all of the people in my system, there they are there, like an Excel spreadsheet, columns of information, summarizing row by row, all of the people in my system. Right down at the bottom here, I've got 22 pages of individual contacts in my system. You can put people into groups as well. So if you want to have a list of all of your top clients or all of clients that meet some sort of criteria, it's very easy using the filtering feature to create these permanent groups, these lists of people that have something in common. Now, if you dive into uh, a client's record here, you can see a little bit more information about them. So this is now a record, an example of a record of a person. Um, and a number of tabs have appeared across the top there. Initially, we're on the main tab. This is the key information about Alan. Now, all of this information, this is pretty much what you're going to get with workbooks. If you started using it right now, this is what you're going to get. So here we are. We've got all of the key information about Alan, his contact details, address, the all important email address there and other information. Now, all th this screen can be changed by you. You can remove fields from here. You can add fields from here as you wish. And then running across the top, we've got these extra tabs where we can see additional, more detailed information about Alan. So any general notes about Alan or files relating to Alan, activities, phone calls, meetings, tasks, things that are in red here, are overdue so a nice visual indication here of overdue activities that you've got there 
Um, this being a demonstration system, I've got a lot of overdue activities. Emails, we'll see later on how we can integrate emails from Outlook into your workbook system so that you're seeing a complete picture here of all of the emails that you've sent or received from Alan um, and to do with your colleagues as well. Your colleagues may be mailing, of course, Alan also. And then over on the right hand side here, more tabs, organizations will display who does Alan work for? What companies or organizations is Alan associated with? Transactions are financial things, so quotes, orders, invoices, and contracts. We've also got an option for tracking contracts. So do you have in your your company contracts? Sales opportunities. What potential sales are coming up? And we can dive into any of these and see that opportunity in a little bit more detail there. Again, all very, very customizable and customizable by you. You don't need to be a programmer. It's very easy to change the system. And then a little bit over on the right hand side here, marketing campaign. So what marketing activities, what events, what newsletters has this person um, uh, received or, or what marketing campaigns or events is this person on? So there we are, quick run through the interface there and these different pages. Now with the Outlook integration, if I dive into Outlook first of all, let me show you email um, first of all. So here, here is Outlook, I'm running Outlook 2010, we run, we're compatible with all the latest releases of Outlook, uh, but do check our website for um, versions that we do support there. So here is the email section, my inbox in Outlook, and an email that I've received. Then if I double click on the email, right at the top here of the email, do you see there's a, a bold line that says this email has already been shared with workbooks. So if I've got this particular person's email address in my workbook system, workbooks will automatically copy this email together with the attachments over to uh, this client's record in the workbook system. So if I dive back to workbooks here, let's do a search of Arthur and Arthur Mitchell. So here's another person in my system, Arthur. There's Arthur's email address there. And if I click on that email tab at the top, I can see I've got three emails that I've uh, got linked in here that have come over from, from Outlook. And there's my my email there, which I can see by clicking on this little plus icon there, or I can actually click on the actual hyperlink there for the email to to launch it as a new window and see any other attachments or related items to that email. So a nice simple way by clicking on these inbound emails to have them copied into the client's record. In a very similar way, um, if you want to create emails, you can actually send emails from workbooks, but if you want to send them from um, from Outlook, in the same way, do you see there, there's that, that line there. So as you create your composure email, you click on that button. As it's being sent, it will automatically copy the email together with the attachments into that email tab there. So that's email. And the other three important things that we actually integrate with your Workbooks Outlook Connector that we integrate between the two is your calendar, your contacts, and your tasks. So if I pop into my calendar here, there's my current calendar, a weekly view. I can see here a sales meeting. And if I pop into Workbooks, let me just close down some of these open windows here, clean up the display. And if I go back to my Start button, and if I go up to Activities on my Start menu here, this is where I can quickly access all of the things that I've got to do, all of my customer-related activities, my phone calls, meetings, tasks. I can see other people's activities as well. And here we are. We've got a diary, a calendar in Workbooks. It doesn't look exactly like Outlook, but you're displaying the same information. And you can view information in a calendar, diary, graphical type format, or you can view it in a list type format as well. So here's, for example, here's all of my outstanding activities. What have I got to do? Who have I got to do it to? What's the status? Now, these landing pages that we see 
in workbooks. All of these columns can be customized as well. So you, there's loads of columns that you could display in this view that you, you as a user may wish to see. So this is all changeable easily by you. You can move these columns around and take columns away, add columns to that. You tell it what information you want to know about those activities. So these activities can be viewed in a list type format or a graphical format. Very easy to toggle between those two views there. And the other important thing that we share between the two are your contact records as well. So if I pop back into Outlook here, and I go to contacts, there we are. There's all my contacts in the system. And here's Arthur down here. If I double click on Arthur's record, there we are. I'm seeing all the information as we see it in Outlook. And again, the confirmation that this, this record is being synchronized with workbooks. So there's, there's a background, there's a little background application um, on your system that is actually synchronizing information with workbooks. And you can always, if, you, if you're nosy, you can actually see what's actually going on there in the background. But that's running. And you can, you can decide what frequency of these synchronizations that will, that will take place as well. Now, workbooks do have another option for integrating Outlook type stuff with, with workbooks. If you use Exchange, if your company uses Exchange, there's another option for you to connect workbooks with Exchange in a more automatic way. Uh, this, is, this is a new option. We're not covering this in this presentation. We will cover it on a future presentation. So the Workbooks Exchange synchronize, uh, Server Synchronization, or WESS as it's called, uh, sorry for the acronym, but uh, th this is another option for integrating workbooks with Outlook, but only relevant if you're using Exchange. And it's, it's more of a way of connecting workbooks directly with Exchange. So you're taking the onus away from the user to click on buttons and decide what they want to share with the, with the Outlook application. So, uh, that's a quick run through the interface in workbooks, basic information that you see, and the Outlook integration, sharing emails, calendars, tasks, and contacts between the two. What I'd like to do now is just run through some basic pricing for you, just to familiarize yourself with how we run this subscription. So, you pay on an annual basis for workbooks based on the number of users you have. So, here are the two editions of workbooks, CRM edition or business edition there. And it's based on the number of named users uh, plus VAT to these, these figures. There are some options that you may want to consider. And the Outlook integration, the Workbooks Outlook Connector, WOC, that's an extra £48 per user per year that wants it. So you don't have to have this subscribed to for all of your users if it's only relevant, if it's only required for a few users, you just need a subscription for those users. So that's an extra £48 um, per user per annum. But of course, budget for, think about what extra help you may need in getting your system up and running. Do you need any training, even if it's just an hour, just to get you launched in the right direction or maybe you'd like us to be with you for the whole day to set the system up and train your staff we can discuss with you once we know your requirements we can discuss with you the right level of imp implementation you might need and training as well okay well we've come to almost the end of the half hour and as I normally do I open out our presentation to any questions then I can see there's here's a couple of questions come in already let me just go into my question section here uh, so first question from Sergio can you can you store more than one email address um, I guess that's one more than one email address per customer yes you can uh, it's actually unlimited Sergio that there's a a concept of if you like a primary address and then you can actually store as many email addresses as you wish. Um, next question from Brooke. How do you stop certain things going from Outlook to workbooks? Well you can actually set up 
uh, exclusions or a filtering uh, rule in the Outlook integration. So you can say to it, don't actually transfer this, this particular type of information. Or you can make it um, manual. You would have seen that on some of my screens uh, right at the top of a record in Outlook. There's a, a big bold line that says share this record or synchronize this record with with uh, workbooks. So there's a way of doing it in a manual way. So yes, Brooke, you can do that. Okay, I don't think there's any more questions coming through there. Uh, if there's any more if any more late questions come through, I'd be more than happy in answering those via email afterwards. So it just remains for me to thank you again for your time this morning. Um, or thanks if you're listening to this on YouTube. Uh, if you want a more detailed presentation, please contact us at wizard-systems.com. There's my phone number. My name again is Tim Wilmot. Uh, think about the trial. Any other information you want concerning workbooks or CRM, please contact us. We please contact us. We'd be only too happy to help. But thanks again for your time, and have a nice weekend. Thank you. Bye bye.